YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. No, 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 no. What's up, Golden Babies? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, okay, so in this video, as y'all can tell by that thumbnail and that title, baby, we're doing a weekly vlog, and basically, my birthday was yesterday, and there's still things to celebrate, still things to do. So, um, currently, y'all, I am 15 minutes late to a dinner that my brother planned for me for my birthday, and it's just like you know, he only gave me an hour to get ready, so he's lucky that I'm really even fit only 15 minutes late, but that's either here or there if you are new here my name is Carrie pace i so appreciate y'all i love y'all so much make sure you join the family hit that subscribe button down below also go follow your girl at golden car underscore 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 on the gram because we just lit everywhere i'm more interactive on there so make sure i go follow me hit me up wooty wooty woo we are about to go to a dinner and we have a lot of things planned but y'all gonna see that later y'all gonna see throughout the week we are a little busy um, but I'm gonna get to y'all when I'm at this dinner so I can focus and like speed drive. So I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, y'all, so we just ordered our food. My brother got filet mignon with a side of fries and I got salmon mashed potatoes and broccolini. The food just came out. I got salmon with broccolini and some mashed potatoes. Those, you know, those look a little sketchy. Look at him. Why is you making that face? He got filet mignon with truffle, nope, just regular fries. I was gonna say truffle fries. And we finna eat in, I mean, eat down. <laughs> I can taste everything with y'all and then turn the camera on. Take the right start first. It looks good. <laughs> I take a fry. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is good. Okay. We're gonna try the salmon first. Different, but good. Then I'm gonna try some mashed potatoes, y'all. These look like grits. Like, they look like grits, y'all. Those taste different. And then the broccolini. This literally reminds me of asparagus. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna be back to y'all. Okay, y'all, so I just got out from the dinner. I took some pictures, of course. It was so beautiful in there. I thank you for my brother to watch this. My brother don't really watch me on YouTube, but if you watch this, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, I loved my dinner. <laughs> but I'm about to go home talk to my family a little bit and then I will get back to y'all later on or tomorrow I'm not gonna make no promises okay you guys so I'm sorry if y'all can hear the air but it is super hot outside y'all already know since Glorita said it's 7 p.m. Friday 95 degrees it's been 95 degrees outside so um the air gotta be on I'm sorry y'all I am currently headed to go get my eyebrows done really quick um they're not really bad at all I just want them tinted again so I'm about to go to my girl Shay and let her tint my eyebrows, y'all. Um, they look good, but I go see Funny Marco tomorrow. And I just want to make sure I look like, you know, just a little bit cuter. I don't know if I'm going to do some makeup. So this will determine. A lot of the times I get my eyebrows done, y'all, I be cool with just putting on some blush and going about my day. So we'll see. I think I look so pretty. Um, 
I feel great. I'm still celebrating my birthday, so that's just what it is. Today we don't have much plan. I worked for the entire morning because it is definitely afternoon now. And I'm taking a quick little break. After I get my eyebrows done, y'all, I really don't know what I want to do. I know I got to go back home really quick um, to, like, get some things finished. But I also want some Dunkin'. So we'll see what we end up doing today. Today isn't going to consist of too much. Um, I put my clothes in a washer before I headed out. And, yeah, we're going to come back after I get my brows done to, like, switch out the load and stuff like that y'all i haven't washed clothes in like two weeks because i've been out of the country and busy normally y'all i like to wash my clothes like once a week to be honest i'm not the type of girl that like to like have her clothes pile up and stuff like that that ain't me you know what i'm saying especially because i don't wear outfits a lot i just feel like it's better to just get it out the way like most of the time i wash my clothes i put them clothes up and i probably won't touch them for a long time so i just be trying to get stuff out the way but i will see you guys when i get my eyebrows done they actually look good like i'm low-key looking like i really don't need them done but we getting them done okay <laughs> Okay, y'all so I am now leaving I'm gonna go back there because if y'all don't know that that's my brow tech like I would still always support my girl pay my girl and all that but that's also my friend so she want me to take down her hair so I'm about to go home um finish my laundry or whatever get some scissors and then come back here but we about to go to Duncan first she has like two more clients so we got time I'm not gonna rush um and I'm gonna help her take down her hair a little later in like an hour. Cause she be, she get them clients in and out, baby, in and out. So yeah, I'm about to go to Duncan cause y'all already know, like I love me some Duncan and I've been out of the country. So I haven't been able to have Duncan in like, it's been like, I think I ain't have Duncan in like six, seven days, no cap. So we're about to get some Duncan donuts cause that's my thing. Hold on, I ain't even, y'all see the brows. Y'all see the material. Be for real. I was just talking to her about getting my eyebrows tattooed though because I spend so much money doing this that it's just like, I should just get my eyebrows tattooed. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't make sense to keep paying as much as I pay for eyebrows to get them tinted when I could just get them micro shaded. But the thing about it is, I don't like the tattoo healing process. You know what I'm saying? And I'm always on camera, so it's like, me getting a tattoo on my face like ugh. i get that it's my eyebrows but ugh, like the peeling and all that but i'm gonna do it y'all i'm gonna do it i probably will do it either at the end of august after i go to this wedding or september one or two i'm gonna do it I, i'm not gonna lie i love the way my eyebrows have like i just like this look yeah i'm gonna get my eyebrows tattooed y'all i ain't gonna hold you Mom, I'm sorry. My mom told me not to do it. I'm doing it. But that's neither here or there, y'all. I'm going to see y'all when I'm at Dunkin' because clearly, I'm just bored. Okay, y'all. So we at Dunkin'. Hi, can I get a vanilla bean culotta? A frozen vanilla bean culotta? What type? I'll do a medium. Um, And that'll be y'all. Uh, Hi, how are you? Hey, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. You too. I got my Dunkin'. Real good, y'all. Real good. So, y'all, I just got done taking out my girl's hair, and I didn't want to show y'all that because who wants to be on camera when they about to have, you feel me, they, they braid down. So, just did that, y'all, and your girl is very hungry. I'm about to stop at the bank to put some money in the bank real quick. I'm actually so hungry, y'all. I'm super hungry right now, so... <clears throat> 
once I leave the bank, I'm about to go warm up that food that y'all seen I had yesterday. I didn't eat all of that salmon and stuff, so I'm about to warm that up and it's gonna be so good. Like, Y'all, I'm so excited to go see Funny Marco tomorrow. Like, love him down, real bad. Like, he's just so funny to me. So I'm hoping, I've never seen him do no type of stand up. Like, I, I didn't even know he did stand up, if I'm being honest. So this is gonna be very interesting to see. I'll let y'all see me. Put this money in a bizank. Put this money in a bank. I'm so short. I dang near got a stretch. I'm about to put my pen in and don't don't be looking. Like mind your business. And don't look at how much money I got in the bank either. Dang, I might gotta block that out. <laughs> Y'all, I have to figure out what I'm wearing to the concert tomorrow because I literally have no idea. So when we get home. I don't know if I want to figure out what I'm eating or should we just figure out what we're wearing tomorrow? Because I feel like chilling. So I don't know. But as I was trying to tell y'all, we really can't figure out what we're wearing tomorrow because it's not until 9 p.m. at night. So um, I was going to try to figure out what I was wearing tonight just in case I had to go to the store. But when I wake up, I can really just see what I want to wear. Today, I probably got a little few things of mine. I just got some Jordan 4s that I haven't worn yet. And I have like this kind of like jersey shirt. I don't know if I want to come super girly or come like on some more calm, chill type things because Funny Marco is not someone to really like dress, dress up for. Not saying he doesn't, you feel me? It's a, it's a comedy show. You don't have to get too dressed up for that. Just like I want to go see DC Young Fight, Chico Bean and all that. That's not something that you have to like wear a dress too and be super fancy you can but it's just not mandatory so i don't know if i want to come calm or go crazy you know what i'm saying but we gonna see i'm gonna get back to y'all when i warm my food up as y'all can tell i'm back in the crib and i am literally about to go ahead and eat this food um here it is y'all that food is really so good that place that we went to was called orange rooftop in columbus and it was so good but i'm about to go ahead and eat and chill and watch tv and i will get back to y'all later you can't even sit in peace with all of these niggas be on you don't you say i can be yeah one that you call and you talk to the girl i'll share my world Okay, so earlier y'all seen me. What did I do? I think I was making my bed, cleaning up. Um, I did wash some clothes, but I did not put up the laundry. The laundry is literally right here, and I'll get to that when I feel like it. You know what I'm saying? But for for the room is clean, bathroom is clean. Um, I ended up picking out my outfit. And this is the outfit that I'm going to go with to see Funny Marco tonight. Um, it is later on in the day. Of course, y'all know I had work. But, y'all, I need to go to the hair store really quick because I want to, like, redefine my curls. And this is Human Hair Bundle. So, um, I was looking on TikTok, like, how to, like, sharpen them up or make them look back curly. And this said leave-in conditioner and mousse. I've been using foam. And, like, this like, the third time I heard not to use foam. So, it's, like... You about to just go to the hair store and then i also ordered some chipotle because your girl has not ate i was working this morning and cleaning up so yeah we're about to go ahead and hit the store really quick and then i'm gonna come back chill a little bit and then we're gonna get ready y'all i think i might do a little bit of makeup do i know for sure not yet but i know for sure for sure that i need to like fix up this hair and my edges and all that so Let's go to the store. Okay, y'all, so I ended up finding some leave-in conditioner. Hold on, wait a minute, it's bright, y'all. And we're just gonna go ahead and get this because I truthfully doesn't, I don't think it matters which one I get. So it's a spray one, which I feel like would be better since it's for curls. So now we're about to go find the mousse. I found some mousse and I think we're gonna go with this one because this one just says, well, we could probably do this one too because it says maximum shine and wave. But this one says moisturizer. We can do this because it says waves. Do I think it really matters? 
Probably not, but we can go with this one. Yeah, I also need some like silver earrings for tonight. So we gonna either go with these. Can y'all see these? These ones might be more my speed. I think I like these. I wanna get two pairs just in case I don't like these ones though. We can go with these. These are a little bigger, but hey. Okay, y'all, we are now pulling up at Chipotle. I meant to say, we are now pulling up at Chipotle, y'all. They got this little Chipotle line, that's what they call it. And I ordered mine for pickup, so we're about to go around. I actually don't know if I've been to a Chipotle line in so long. Like, I remember being at one in Michigan, but that was it. I'm not gonna lie, like, if I wanted to wait, I would have went inside. Not even gonna lie. Thank you. The only reason why I order from Natural Chipotle is every time I'm like by the place where I get my eyebrows done, um, like threaded, not tinted, but or when I'm by the hair store and I just want some Chipotle. Other than that, y'all, I really need to stop going to that Chipotle because a lot of them there, I don't really think they like working there. Like, they just never happy. Like, But y'all, we got our food and we got the little things that we need to go ahead and head home. Before I eat, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and like drench my hair in water so that it can definitely have time to dry before I get dressed because I don't know about y'all, but I hate that look that your hair give you like on your pants or your butt when you wet it. So we about to go ahead and get home and then I'll be right back to y'all. The girl's back home and y'all seen, I got the mousse, the leave-in conditioner, I also got a, um, another edge control brush because y'all, mine's be getting so dirty and I think it's so annoying, but I needed that again. And then I also ended up grabbing some earrings that you guys can see, but I'm about to hurry up and do this so I can eat because knowing me, baby, we gonna need as much time as we can get. So I wanna say they said spray it down with water first. Lately, my hair um, at the top be looking like mad fuzzy and I'm like, I don't know what that's from. So I'm hoping that the mousse helps it. When I get done like putting all this stuff in my hair, I'm definitely going to make sure I put on a little scarf so it can like lay this part down. And we don't have to worry about this because all of this, baby, that's just my edges. That ain't that ain't nothing that we can fix that real quick. You have to go ahead and try this leave-in conditioner. It's my first day doing this, so I'm hoping that it works. Okay, so now I'm about to take some of this mousse. We're gonna give it a good shake because y'all know mousse be tripping. But one thing I like about mousse is how like when you spray it, it like foams up in your hand. I think that is like so cool. But come on, man. <laughs> I love that. Like, oh God, this is chunky mousse. Like, I don't think nothing will happen though if you put too much mousse, right? This looks good. This looks good. Everything that we just did on this side, we're gonna do to this side, so. Come on. And y'all can see the difference. Get into it. This side versus this side. Definitely a difference. Okay, y'all, so I just did what I had to do, baby. But I'm about to go ahead and eat this food. I can show y'all what I got really quick. Of course, baby, we always get chips. What is Chipotle without chips? You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't like tortilla chips, go get the purple bag of Doritos. Chef's kiss, like. And I need to start going back to my roots because it's so good. I got some guac, queso. Here's the bowl. Here's what the bowl is giving y'all. It looks so good, oh my God. But because we have a lot to do, and I want to record a little bit. I'm about to go ahead and eat and put this camera on a charger while I eat. And then I'll get back to y'all when I am getting ready, period. Okay, y'all. So I just finished eating and I have like my little makeup bag right here. My outfit is like very calm and chill. I'm wearing like a boyish slash girly outfit. It's not even boyish. I didn't stop saying that. It's just like a different way of dressing. I would say than girly girl. It's like, it's not girly girl. It's not girly, I should say. Um... But this is like my favorite way to dress. I'll uh, make sure I show y'all what I end up putting on. Um, on top of that, y'all, I am going to be making a reel. I'm going to be making some content when I get dressed. And I'm just going to basically like do a get ready with me to go see Funny Marco. So if you don't follow me on the gram, make sure y'all go follow me, y'all. 
I post so much content on Instagram, way more than I am on YouTube. And I'm so excited to go see him because, y'all, I love this man. And not like in a weirdo way, but like, every mm. time I watch him, I be laughing. Like, every single time. So I just feel like he a good vibe. Good vibe. Good little vibe. So, yeah, that's why I really wanted to go see him. I really don't even know. How did I even find out about this? I don't even know how I found out that he was about to be at the... I think I seen it on his Instagram. That he said he was going to be in Columbus, Ohio. I'm like, Columbus? You can't be in Columbus and I not come see you. You know what I'm saying? So we about to go ahead and get into it. I'm not going to like have y'all watch me this whole entire time. Because it's going to be quick and something little. So y'all could just... I'm just going to speed this process through real quick. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to see Funny Marco. Hey, and I look good. The outfit is giving, y'all. I thought I was going to have enough time to take pictures, but it's currently 8.54, so I'm not, baby. I'm not going to have time to take no pictures whatsoever at all. Um, but I'm thinking that I could just take garage pictures after because I'm definitely getting a picture in these. Y'all, them um, earrings that I got from the beauty supply store are giving, baby. Like... What? I ended up doing silver accessories. Y'all know I really don't do silver, but I'm doing silver right now. And it's giving, I only did silver because I have on a white small purse and it has like silver little diamonds in it. Well, not diamonds. Hold on, let me show y'all real quick. They have that. Oh my God, I don't have on no rings, Jesus. I don't have on no rings. I'm not gonna lie, there's not even nothing I could do about that, but that is absurd. I was rushing, y'all, as y'all can tell. I don't have on no rings. I don't even, I wouldn't even care if they were gold rings right now. That's a rookie. That's a rookie mistake. That's, that's a 16 year old mistake. I'm a grown woman. I'm a grown woman. I'm a grown woman. And I just walked out the house Hey, hey, and I just walked out the house with no rings on. Low key, everything in me want to turn around, but it's like it's not that serious. It's not, but it's it's just giving that serious to me, low key. But I do have on like a lot of silver accessories, as y'all can see on this hand too. So it's like you can see it, but it's just like my hands are bare. But it's okay, y'all. We on the way to see Funny Marco, and once I get situated, situated, and I'm there. And I'm comfy. I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna come back on here. This line was crazy. Okay, y'all. I'm here and I'm seated. Y'all, he gonna see me. <laughs> Got a little menu and stuff. I might get a little drink. They told me to give you some gum. Whatever you wanna do. Yeah. Why are you doing like that? We got on YouTube. Let's do a vlog. Say hi. I got it. Uh, you got it. What to do YouTube? Make yeah. sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let them know. Hey, pause it real quick. Pause. All right. What to do YouTube? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. My girl up and coming. And she's yeah. doing her motherfucking thing. Yeah. Tap it with her. Let them know. Let's get it. Thank you. You gotta do that so it won't get copywritten. Yeah, period. See, you respect. Thank you. Details, I details. love you. I love you too. Be safe. Thank you. I like how you're spending this episode. I'm gonna talk to you. Okay. I like how you're spending this episode. Like, I would watch you. Yeah, I got you. I love Thank you. Nice to meet you. Y'all heard him. Y'all better like, comment, and subscribe. Up and coming. Get it to it. Okay, I'm in my car now and I done drove to downtown. But let me just tell y'all, I really fuck with him. Like, energy wise you could just tell he's just a genuine ass person when he was talking to the crowd he was trying to make sure people got put on say their business like i just fuck with little shit like that and you can tell people that's not too far gone in the industry like when they really still 
got a heart. Like, he just, I fuck with him. Like, and for the people that be calling him ugly, he's not ugly. He's not ugly. He's not ugly at all. Y'all lucky I had delusion though. I'd be like, my man, my man, my man. <laughs> he's not ugly though. He cool. He cool as fuck. But um, my brother just asked me to come downtown. It's one in the morning and um, I kind of don't want to be here. But we finna have a ball because I told y'all after this summer, I'm really cool on all like the going out stuff. So I'm about to go into this little bar club right here called Bernard's on High Street. And we're going to see what it's talking about. And then I also have somebody here from Michigan that I might run into. So we about to get out and see where the night takes us. It's already one something. So we won't be here for long. <laughs> By 2 o'clock, I'm walk up and down the street and I'm a dead. So yeah. Okay, y'all. So today is the next afternoon. And I just bought tickets to go see DC Young Fire, Chico Bean, and Carlos Miller. If y'all don't know who that is, baby, wake up. You know what I'm saying? They have a show called the 85 South Show. Um, they on Wild and Out. They just be doing a big one. Very funny guys. Ready to have a ball. I paid for a more expensive ticket so that I could be in the front. And this time, y'all, a meet and greet is not going to be in. I'm excited about that. We go see them tonight, y'all. Today, I really just have to work, y'all. Y'all know I've been on the road. Um, I've just been doing a lot. I got to catch up on a lot of stuff. Um, but I'm also going on a date. It's already like, it's literally already later on in the evening. I worked all morning. I ended up washing my face off when I got back last night and I passed out, but I literally don't think I went to sleep till like three, four o'clock. And then I woke up at like seven to start doing work. So I've been up for a long time. Um, and now it's time for me to get ready to go on a date. Um, y'all know y'all not going to come with me on the date because that's not what I do. That's like private. You get what I'm saying? But y'all can't get ready with me. I have no idea where I'm going. You get what I'm saying? And I would like to figure it out. But when I start getting ready, I'm going to let y'all know. Um, for my ladies, everybody don't do this. But when I meet a man for the first time, I would like to not wear makeup. So no makeup would be being wore on today. Um, we just going to probably chill. Do some chill. I don't like meeting people and like having a lot going on. Because I feel like that's like a first impression. I feel like I don't want you to think that this is how I'm going to look all the time. So I want you to see me just like this, sweetheart, with a cute little outfit on. Y'all know I get dressed. That's just what I do. But I get, I literally love to get dressed, so that's an everyday thing. But the makeup and the dresses and heels and all that, I'm not going to do that first date. But I guess I'll come back on here when it's time to get ready. just figured that I should let y'all know that I'm ready and I'm rushing because um, the time got moved up. I have on a like very chill outfit because we're going to watch uh pro soccer game y'all know i love sports so i was down so i'm gonna see y'all and i'm gonna let y'all know what the woo but gotta go i'm sorry i ain't get ready with y'all today not really a vlogging day everything that i did today really just can't be on camera y'all look i'm all discombobulated closet on but i'll see you guys when i get back okay so if you look at me and you judge me y'all not gonna do that you feel me we family today is the next day after yesterday and um yesterday really wasn't a day for me to record so it's kind of like everything that i did technically just needed to be off camera you know what i'm saying like it just wasn't meant to be on camera i was working a lot like all day and then i ended up going on a date the date went well um so now it is currently the next day and i'm just now getting off work and i know i work from home so i'll be looking like this for sure like, when I talk to my clients, they don't know what I be having with them. And then, when I'm on Zoom calls, I take this off and I just put on a little, a little shirt. <laughs> but, um, yes, it is now the afternoon. I'm about to go ahead and get in the shower. I was just folding my clothes and, like, separating my clothes. My clothes are on the floor now. Because I told y'all that I needed to do that. So, I'm about to put that up. Um, my clothes are washed. I need to make my bed. All of those things I'm going to do off camera though because I technically have to rush. I'm going to go get in the shower and eat. No, I'm going to get in the shower and I'm going to take y'all to eat with me. I want to get a seafood boil, but basically I need to hurry up. So I don't want to do everything on camera because it's going to slow me down. Tonight, y'all, I bought tickets to go see 85 South Show. I fuck with them. So we're going to see them, y'all. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to have a great time today. But I got stuff to do, so I'm going to hurry up. And I'll be back to y'all once we're eating. So... I'm gonna see you in a second. Okay, y'all, we pulling up, we pulling up. So they playing music, so I'm gonna try to be quick. Just ordered some food and also like a little drink. 
I ended up getting some crab legs, mussels, eggs, corn, potato, and then I got like a smoothie slushy type of drink. So yeah, when they bring it, I'll show you guys. And my drink is about to come. Thank you. Look at that. That's crazy. Okay, y'all, so my food is here. I'm about to dump it now, y'all. Okay, y'all, here's the food. So y'all, I'm about to go ahead and eat. I really wanted to sit here and talk to y'all, but I can't because the music is way too clear and I know if I keep talking, YouTube is gonna pick it up. Well, there goes that. I tore it up, y'all. All the little shells and stuff is in there, but yeah. This really wasn't that good. It's like very sweet, but yeah. Okay, y'all, so I just headed home and um, did a little bit of makeup, y'all. Literally, I just put on some, um, what is this called? Concealer and blush, y'all. I didn't do no full face like I did for Funny Marco. Um, and yeah, we are headed to the comedy show to see DC Young Fly, Carlos Miller, and Chico B. And I'm so excited, y'all. Um, I don't know what's, what's up with me. I'm like going places like this right on time. I get there at 6.57 and the show says that it starts at 7. So I'm gonna hope the show really don't start directly at 7 just because like I don't know how that will work and if I have to walk in front of a lot of people I'm gonna be so nervous like walking down because I did get a seat in the front so we'll see hopefully you know what I'm saying like we black they black you got what I'm saying so hopefully it's other people walking down the aisle or something too but yeah y'all we're gonna get there and have a good old laugh today and yeah so I'll see y'all when we at the show Been driving on the east side all day trying to buy me some pussy. So, trip. Hey, sit down, man. Y'all making too much noise in this motherfucker. Y'all. showing up. Over, even when you're gone. Don't think. Just grow. Stronger. Surely. Oh, my love. We got some. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> well, we got some chili. Some shit. My tears in my back. Ooh, shit. Wait, that busted titties going on in this motherfucker. Look at OG, he having time in life. Yeah, yeah. OG, yeah. That's all right. Help a nigga out. 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 Hey man, I wish I could walk to the car with them because I know they're going to be walking to the car singing that shit. I'm going to drop that and do the pee pee hole. Okay, y'all. So your girl then got home, unwind. The show was like, I give like a 6 out of 10, y'all. Like a 6 out of 10. I love them though. I still love them. It just like. I don't know like I didn't laugh as much as I thought I would to be completely honest but I love like their segments that they did um like when they be singing and rapping and stuff like that uh a lot of the jokes like if you watch them you know what they do they just be baking the crowd and stuff and just going off you know off of each other um so yeah it was cool though like they some funny niggas like period point like they still funny hilarious to me Today might have just been like on like more, a little smoother, calmer side, but I'm grateful that I even was able to see them. Um, that center that we went to literally don't play. Like, I couldn't even bring my purse in, my camera in. I'm like, bro, what can I bring in, nigga? <laughs> so I literally end up coming in there with my keys and lip gloss, y'all. That's what I was able to bring. So I tried to sneak, not sneak, because we were able to record, but I, I got some little footage in there for y'all a little bit. But it was great. Um, I'm going to close this vlog out tomorrow morning. I have some stuff to show y'all. And um, 
yeah i just went to go get some wing stop and took off my clothes and i was like wait like i didn't even record or like tell y'all what i was doing like i'm tripping you know what i'm saying i'm tripping i'm tripping but yeah like that was like my last little birthday gift was to go see them i still enjoyed it it was cool um funny marco is literally like my fave i'm not gonna lie like i love him um but i'm about to sit here and relax i really just enjoyed everything this year about my birthday honestly like y'all have no idea the birthdays i have had like over the past couple years i wasn't happy with them at all like at all and y'all seen the aruba vlog that was like my actual like birthday trip but everything after this has also been a part of my birthday and i just feel like i'm just happy that i did what made me happy this year and I wasn't really worried about nobody else this year. Like I was genuinely worried about Carrier this year because last year I went I took a trip to Atlanta and that was just bad. I ended up trying to go along with people and it was a bad experience. The year before then I went to Atlanta when I was I think was that the year before? How old am I? Twenty three? Yeah. I went to Atlanta uh with my ex boyfriend and it it was just bad, like bad vibes, bad energy like last two years of my birthday i was very sad and just out of it so i just was grateful and i really just wanted to have a great birthday this year because i feel like i deserve it and i feel like your birthday is the one day out of the year that is supposed to be all about you and i'm not trying to get deep but if people don't respect that and people don't step for you you gotta know their place it's not like they gotta go all out for you you know what i'm saying like nobody gotta do too much I think I showed my gifts in the Aruba vlog, so if you haven't watched it, go watch it. But it's the little things that let you know your place in people's life. And I feel like people that are super close to you that don't make your birthday feel important, it's just not okay. Period, point blank. I know that we grown up, we got responsibilities, but that does, that's not an excuse to not show out or just show love for people that you love. Because I feel like, just like with friends, if they got a nigga, they gonna show up for that nigga. They ain't about to tell him, oh, I can't get you. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I feel like people got to, you know, do their part. And um, for the past couple of years, I was just relying on other people to make me happy on my birthday. And it never gave. So I made me happy this year. And I'm happy. I'm content. I loved everything. And, um, yeah, that's just what it is. But I'm going to talk to y'all in the morning okay y'all so today is the next day and i got a package from pretty little thing so you're about to go ahead and open this up real quick i told you i wanted to show y'all a couple things so let's get into it y'all literally i was supposed to have this literally when i went to aruba so yeah it came so late so this wasn't for aruba but i'll still show y'all that these were they were some glasses. Um, these actually don't look like how I thought they were gonna look, honestly. They look way more tinted and yellowish online. So I don't even know how I feel about these. But I'll still show y'all. They were these. Oh, it looks more tinted like face the other way. These were the glasses, y'all. I don't even know if I really like them like that, but I'll keep them. Okay. I don't know. How y'all feel? Y'all like these? Let me know. I feel like they're a little thick, but we'll keep them. Yeah, they have like a way more tinted look when they're like actually on you. And then I cannot wait to wear this, y'all. If y'all don't know, this is the best time to start buying y'all cold stuff because it'd be so much cheaper. But tell me this jacket is not beautiful. Low key, what size did I get? The fact that I got a size small is pretty little thing. Y'all gotta relax on the, on the size and no cap. I gotta calm down a little bit. Let's put it on. Let's see. Yeah, no, this is fire. Oh, yes. I'm gonna wear something crazy with this, boy, I tell you. Look at this jacket, y'all. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> hey, okay, that's I did. Next, I got a package from Good Molecules. They sent me this. Let's 
see when you first open it up this is what it says it says see a difference in your skin okay y'all so they sent me a lightweight daily moisturizer niacinamide brightening toner discoloration corrector serum overnight exfoliating treatment which this is how it looks y'all oh this was so sweet okay so thank you good molecules i appreciate it thanks for sending me some items i'm definitely going to use them and i'll let my golden babies know how they treat me but yes y'all if y'all have not ever ordered from good molecules i heard they are great for our skin so i'll definitely be letting y'all know what it do and what it don't do okay but thank you guys so much for sending me that package though love that um and yeah y'all this is it for the rest of my celebrating my birthday vlog slash weekly vlog i don't know what i'm gonna name this but i enjoy myself so much and yeah i love y'all make sure you like comment and subscribe join the golden babies y'all join us like we love y'all we appreciate y'all also if y'all not follow me on the gram yet go follow your girl at golden car underscore 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 but i love y'all bye <laughs>